Hello everyone, welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. Um, in this video, we understand TypeScript data types. Okay, what are all the data types allowed for a TypeScript programming language? Okay, so let me uh, create a separate folder. So new directory 03-ts-data types. Okay, so in this I create one, uh, not JavaScript, I create one TypeScript just say app.ts it's not just app you can create any uh, any of your variable name okay any of name uh, file name you can create okay so uh, what are data types are uh, allowed in typescript is uh, uh, string allowed number allowed um, boolean null undefined and uh, void void allowed what else uh, enum is allowed and also any is allowed okay so mostly these are the very uh, regularly used data types in typescript okay so now we understand each of this uh, with a simple example okay so first let's start with a string so string means you can assign uh, even a single character or a multiple a collection of characters or a statement or a paragraph so it can be any length of string uh, any alphanumeric characters also we can make as a string okay so you can just say let's uh, let's say my uh, okay let's say employee name of type string is equal to John okay like this let's employee name of type string is equal to john and you know print it uh, console dot log of backtick i'll be using uh, here let's say employee name employee name will be my employee name okay just print it so how to execute this program two ways uh, two command tsc space hyphen uh, add dot ts and node or else ts node let me right click on this open terminal let me close the previous terminals let's say ts node uh, add dot ts enter so this will compile and execute the employee name john that's it and moreover uh, if you declare as a string you are trying to assign a number you get the error okay apart from string whatever you assign you get the error man because strictly typed language and typed superset of javascript okay fully typed okay uh, data types yeah and number mm, number what we do let employee age of type number is equal to some 45 years just yes, john 45 years okay uh, fine employee age see i'm using camel case camel case start with lower case and next word start with upper case okay and you want to print it just to console.log of uh, uh, employee age employee age so run the program this will take few seconds man yeah i got it that's fine uh, next let's say boolean so boolean let's uh, what boolean value you take for this guy um let's take um what um is manager is manager of type uh, boolean is equal to true yes this is guy is a manager okay let's take a console lock uh is manager so let's say is manager okay so you get the answer this is manager value goes to be uh true okay fine uh next uh, uh, we have null and undefined uh yeah we have a type but we mostly we never use these things okay because if you declare a string type you can only assign a string value if you assign number you can assign numbers if you say boolean you can assign booleans but if it is null hardly you can assign null or undefined so we never declare a variable just to store the value of null or undefined we, we just need to store real values or some meaningful value not just null and undefined so mostly uh, we never use this 
uh, but it's still there in TypeScript, but we need to understand. Uh, so let's say null. So null means let's uh, test of type null. Of type null is equal to you can assign the value null. Okay. Uh, something weird. You can assign the value null. So what is the test value will be uh, test. So you get the answer obviously null as an answer. Um, yeah. And uh, moreover, if you declare as a null, null type, you can even assign something called undefined. So null and undefined is interchangeable. If you assign null, you can assign null as well as undefined. Even if you declare undefined also, you can define undefined and null, both interchangeable. Okay. These, uh, these two types are in, in, interchangeable. Uh, for example, if I say undefined, undefined, let abc of type uh, undefined is equal to undefined okay uh, let's say console log mm, abc value abc value will be abc generally you never create a variable with abc but it's just a nonsense value so i just use abc uh, save it you just simply get the undefined as a value come on oh you got error uh what man undefined is not assignable to type null okay okay Achha. so while writing a program my web stream has not given the error but it says while compiling it shows the error okay a small correction null takes only null undefined takes only undefined okay a small correction uh i guess yeah now happy okay non interchangeable sorry fine uh we, we never use this much so just just forget about it much okay and uh, uh before i start with the void or any uh we have uh, two other object type and uh, array type object and array uh, let's see how to declare an object so let's say uh object Actually, for objects uh, in uh, in TypeScript, we need to create an interface. Uh, we actually have a separate class to understand a detailed uh, uh, look into uh, objects. Okay, so this is just uh, a basic example on objects. Okay, uh, let's uh, what object you create mobile uh, of type uh, objects built in. Uh, I say the brand. So brand uh, Apple color silver and uh, price uh, price just 45 or 35,000 okay this is how you create an object uh, with of some time call uh, some type uh, call object so you can just say console dot log of mobile you simply get the complete mobile objects on your screen come on Yes, I got it. Okay, and don't worry much. Objects will have a separate class to understand deeper. Okay, and the next thing is an array. So array is let um, I just declare any kind of array. It's a number array, string array, object array. It can be anything. Uh, even we discuss arrays concept in a separate class. Uh, it is just a basic example. Okay, uh, I say colors of type string array is equal to an array. So here uh, string array means what you write colors. Yeah, uh, I just write white, uh, black, and uh, silver, and uh, what else you do? Blue. Uh, okay, fine. Four colors. Okay, let's print it. Simply just say console dot log of colors. Okay. So let's check. You get the four colors white black silver blue okay uh, we'll see deeper look into and as the next class uh, in a coming year classes uh, next thing will be um, void what is void do you do you heard anywhere void you know void is in in java we have it right same in c++ also dot net also we have here also because it's object oriented right <laughs> okay uh, void what exactly void is TypeScript is a fully typed language. 
okay completely typed language it means you need to provide a specific type it means uh, void where we use this mostly for our functions we have a separate class of deeper deeper discussion into functions uh, so void um, if you declare a function function returns uh, some value right it takes some parameters it returns as a value uh, so what is the written type of a function if no written type for a function you declare as a void type if it is some written type you use number string object whatever if no written type you must have declared a function written type will be a void is must ensured in typescript okay uh, so let's say uh, i can use any function i can use the normal function arrow function function expression any 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 flavor of function let's say greet i use arrow function of es6 uh, greet uh, I just take a name of type string okay so let's say console.log of uh, <coughs> backtick let's say hello and the name of the person is name okay this is the function and this function does not return any value so you can declare this of type void okay if you want to return something so if you return some string then you must have to declare the written type as a string type if returns a number so you must have declared as a number if doesn't return anything okay you need to must to declare as a void this is what void okay how to call greet uh, my name run the program back here ah, come on hello Naveen huh, hi okay uh, that's void uh, let's say enum any very important okay uh, let's take enum uh, what is enum is uh, if you want to store a collection of uh, constant values or uh, constant variable with some values so you're gonna with enum what is enum is a collection of constant values okay so but enum declaration slight different when compared to object in object is what is equal to object in that we have a colon right in enum it is like no equal symbol and here equal symbol okay something reverse i show you uh, what type of uh, variable you declare for enum let's say enum enum month i take and make sure enum start with uppercase because classes interfaces enum start with uppercase right as per the rules we discussed in the last class uh, so what uh, constant values you take uh, i say jan uh, by default it will take the value called zero uh, if you want to assign some other value you can write it january uh, it's not colon i guess it is equal to okay uh, i guess it's comma or semicolon no comma february is equal to f e b r u a r y okay so two values and you know print it let's say console dot log of month dot jan so you get the answer as january so you can only access man you can't change it uh, you want to try to change something called month dot jan is equal to uh, something you get there it says uh, attempt to assign a constant or read only variable uh, it's a read only you can't change it okay that's called uh, enum uh, so one last thing is uh, any what is any any means any anything any anything can be assigned just like javascript see if it's a string type you can only assign a string values if it's a number type you can only assign a number value if it's a boolean you can only assign a boolean value same story if it is any type you can assign any kind of data that that small provision also there in typescript okay for example let a of type any you can assign string uh, is perfectly valid okay if a is equal to number perfectly valid if a is equal to an object perfectly valid a is equal to uh, null perfectly valid if a is equal to uh, what else put true uh, sorry true perfectly valid so any type can assign any kind of data okay but i strongly recommend never ever use the any 
if you are using that any then why you supposed to come for type shift you can use javascript only right okay so you need to define a particular type because type shift is made for that we understand all the the limitations of javascript so particularly you have to give a specific type so don't give a general type call any it leads to a lot of issues just like javascript okay so never use this any but if you're not sure for time being you can use it but later you must have to fix it for a particular type okay uh, the soul man and we have few other like tuple and few other uh, it's not that much important i guess uh, these things are very regularly we use in typescript okay so now we understand a very basic data types of typescript okay uh, let's see uh, in the next class uh, we'll see the operators of typescript right. thank you so much for watching and let's meet in the next video thank you